Hey guys, it's Blues Domino, and check out the new addition to the guitar family. This is a 2016 limited edition by Fender. It's an American uh, American standard, but it's got a little something extra to it. I don't know if you can tell, but sure enough, we've got another sandblasted edition. So you got an American standard in an ash body with a tri-sunburst. I'm trying to get the right lighting in here. Uh, I don't know, a couple years back in 14, they had a limited run production of tellies and bases and strats that they did in a sandblasted finish, some in blue, some in red. This, to my knowledge, is only a Sweetwater exclusive guitar, this finish anyhow. And uh, I know they've got a limited number of those available. Those guys are awesome over there. Just wanted to give you a little uh, view of what we're looking at. And uh, there it is, the 70s style uh, headstock. So the bigger headstock, which is nice. This guitar has got a nice weight to it. I mean, it is super light, super light. It's only seven pounds. Um, that's pretty, pretty damn awesome. So we got a set of three Singer Coil, the uh, Fender Standard uh, Stratocaster single coil um, pickups, and you've got they've got two neck choices. You've got, of course, the Rosebud Ro or Rosewood, Cali. Uh, it's not that late, but anyway, it's uh, they've got this is the Maple. Uh, we got 22 frets, and uh, they're pretty chunky fret wire. Uh, it didn't have in the specifications if they were, um, you know, jumbo, if they're medium jumbo. They're somewhere in between there, I think, uh, either medium jumbo or jumbo. Maybe some of you guys know, but this is just an awesome guitar. It's got the no-load tone switch um, on, the, on the bridge pickup. Uh, you know, if there was a couple of things that I could change on this, and I might on down the road, I don't know, your uh, just good old standard Stratocaster uh, six screw uh, trim bridge with the bent saddles, I would have preferred a you know a two point trim, because these tend to, for me anyhow, I, I can't seem to keep them in tune all that well if I use the trim a lot. Uh, the other thing that I would change would be the Tuners. I'm kind of in love with these uh, locking tuners that Fender has. Might just drop a set of those in. But uh, just a sweetheart of a guitar. Wish I could get a good shot of how that finish is just. Um, it, it's mesmerizing. Of course, you get the the grain of the wood. The uh, put the you know your tri finish sunburst on, and then they'll hit it with the uh, sandblasting. And then they do a, a black stain in the relieved areas, and uh, it just has a really cool effect. Um, we'll see how that uh, fades over time. I don't know, with my arm being on there, it's a little, you can definitely feel the grain of the wood. It might smooth out a little bit, but it's good that it's dark colored there. Uh, just a sweet playing guitar. Came from Sweetwater with their 55 point checkup, which is awesome. Uh, it's nice that they do that. I mean, I took it right out of the box and I think I had to tune up a couple strings, but it was pretty much in tune. Uh, still got the factory set of strings on. I'll probably be changing those out eventually. But enough mumbo jumbo, let's go ahead and listen to this sucker go. Uh, maybe I'll just do something a little basic. We'll start in the uh, neck pickup.
So anyhow, there's a little taste of it. Uh, you guys should check this out if you're in the market for a guitar. Uh, they got the good old price drop. I think this is about 1100 bucks, but whatever. Doesn't matter. These things are great. And uh, if it uh, makes you want to play more, then get more. So that's my two cents. Hope you guys have a great one. We'll talk to you later.